Hey guys, you ever been working in your PDM vault and you take a look at your SolidWorks PDM bill of materials and wonder, what can I do with this now that I've got it? This Q-tip's for you. So today's Q-tip is going to get into what we call the named bomb. Inside PDM, there are three different kinds of bombs. So you can have a drawing that has a bill of materials. The parametrically calculated bomb is called the computed bomb. That's in PDM terms. If you then save that bomb, out of the Bill of Materials tab to what's called a named bomb, then that can then become a document of record on its own, and that's a named bomb. There's also a third kind, which is the CAD bomb. If you have a bomb on the face of your drawing inside SOLIDWORKS, then PDM will then determine what that bomb looks like and then show it to you inside the Bill of Materials tab. Now, if you're wanting to route a Bill of Materials through a data package review process, which this is a hint, in the 21st century, we can use documents like BOMBS as a document of record. Inside PDM, it is a special document type. Inside PDM, I selected this drawing. This drawing has a nice bill of materials built out here, and I've got my bill of materials table all configured so that all of my columns are set right. I'm looking at what's called the engineering bill of materials. This is really nothing more than a layout, and this is the computed BOMB. Then if I take a look at this bill of materials in this pull down list, this is the CAD bomb. This is what you see on the face of the drawing. And then the third kind that we'd have here would just be another layout, which would be our named bomb. Of course, this is, a, this is one that I've already saved in here, so it looks like it's already there, but it's not. Let's go back to the engineering bill of materials. I'd like to save this as a named bomb and then route it through a workflow. That's a great idea. Let's give it a shot. Go to the Bill of Materials tab, select the pull-down list over here, click Save As. This type of document that you're going to save it as will have an extension of .bom. It's going to save it into the same folder. You notice there are no other files that are in here. It's because the file types that we're seeing, just like we've got a filter turned on, we're only seeing BOM file types. There aren't any in this folder, so we'll go ahead and save this one. It gives you the base file name with a .2 and a .bom. Let's click Save. Nothing has changed up here, nothing has changed over here. Let's go to display. Instead of show files, which is what we're seeing now, show bills of materials. There's our bill of materials. This is the named bomb. It's currently checked out. It is now a document inside PDM. If I select it, the only view that I get is the bill of materials. This is where your supply chain buyers, your production planners can actually take what we start with as the E-bomb, the engineering bomb, and then add components to it, like adhesives, fasteners, other non-modeled items you might need to add during the manufacturing process so that you can build out this M-bomb, manufacturing bomb. Then we're going to check this document in and we're going to route it through a workflow. Let's take a look at the administration tool. This is the bomb workflow. It has a state that it starts in, bomb created, then we route it to the M-bomb build out, then we have a data package review, and then we release it. And then upon the release, we do an export to XML. Stay tuned. This is where it gets really fun. So right now, the document is checked out. I can actually add a row below. If I insert a row below or a row above, let's just go ahead and add a row above. We can give it a part number. Let's say that I've got a McMaster part number 93K2273. I just made that up. And let's just say that this is a bolt order 20. Stainless steel made that up too. And then this would just be a raw. This would be a raw material. And the quantity, it's going to need 12. I made that up too. Once I click out of here, you'll notice the bomb changes color. We're going to do another Q-tip on how to actually do the bomb compare. We'll get to that later. From here, all we have to do is click save. And I want to check this dude in because I'm going to route this thing. You know, you might add whatever commentary you might need to in here, and you can also keep it checked out, just like any other document in PDM. Click OK. Once the document's checked in, it lands in the bomb created state. And this is now a document of record that can then transition through our virtual workflow. Right click on the file, change state, route to engineering. So this is where this thing really starts to come to life. So we created it, we added a part to it, engineering now has it, and if you have email notifications turned on, you can actually set up an email notification so it conditionally notifies certain people of certain actions. And then they would then check out this MBOM and continue working on it. 
we're going to go ahead and push this on through to the release state so that we can see the XML that gets created. Right click on it, change state, and we're going to submit it to the review team. Click OK. Again, we are routing this bill of materials as a document of record through our workflow, which means that in an MBD world, this would be my bomb. I don't have to have it on the face of my drawing anymore. Hint, 21st century, let's get our data up to speed. And then lastly, we're going to right click on it, change state, and we're going to release bomb to supply chain. We could also return it to engineering for changes if we need to, like an approval cycle. This is so cool. This is one of the greatest features I think I've ever seen. Release bomb to supply chain. We're going to say released. The system is configured to do the data export to an XML document. Before we jump over to the server and take a look at that, let's go see what that export's going to look like. It's going to export to the local folder on the server, not this computer. This is just a client workstation, but on the server in a folder called EPDM XML export. And then the server has to have access to whatever that folder is on the server. If it's a server share, then it could be a, a UNC path. It's going to give the file name of the base file name dash four digit year, two digit month, two digit day, and then a serialized counter so that we won't ever have duplicated files. It's going to then export the named bomb. Just keep in mind, this is all contained and this is where we sanitize our data before we release it. Okay, hopefully that part helps. Let's click OK here. Let's jump out of this and let's go over to the server remote in and take a look. The folder that we were going to look at was the C drive and then it was going to be EPDM XML export. We take a look here and then we sort by date and we have 99 of 20. That is the export that just happened just a few minutes ago. It gave us the base file name with the four digit, two digit and two digit and then a serialized counter dot XML. This is the data that we would use with regard to anything going into our ERP system. Double click on it. Let's take a look at it in Internet Explorer. And this is what it looks like. Our name bomb has now been converted to this XML that can then be consumed by other business processes. All right, gang. So that's it for the named bomb, converting it to XML through our workflow process and using a bill of materials inside PDM as a document of record in the 21st century. Hopefully this Q-tip's been helpful for you. We're super excited to be able to share this kind of technology with you. Believe in the Q.